Hello guys, this is Joy and Sebi and my dad here. Hey guys. Hey everybody. And today we're back with two Cosmos and our Vector. We have Classic Cosmo, we have Collector's Edition Cosmo, and we have Vector right over here. But before we get started, we want to share you guys some things that Anki has released to the public about Vector stats. Yeah, last week there was an e-blast that went out to Kickstarter backers and Anki shared global stats of all the Vectors in the world. Oh my goodness. Oh. He, I know we know he knows the edge and he tested it, but still you still get nervous when he's up there. Go ahead, Joel, read some of the stats. Alright, so the first stat is voice queries, and he's just over four million of them. That's a lot of voice queries. Though. Yes, yeah. that's a lot. <laughs> the second one is times petted, and Vector has been petted 1.5 million times. More, More than, than 1.5 million times. Holy cow, and we're adding that up right now as Sebi pets. <laughs> Our vector, so that number is increasing. And what else do we have? We have fist bumps given. He is given five hundred and nine thousand fist bumps and counting. That's that's a lot of fist bumps right there. You'll have to ask him to do a fist bump though. Hey vector, give me a fist bump. <laughs> there you go. Why do you go that way though? All right, add one more to the fist bump count. What else do we have, Julian? And next we have dance parties. He's had over 157,000 dance parties. And how many dance parties has, has he had with us? None. Yeah. Well, not yeah. that we know of. Yeah, none that we know of. We're not sure. We'll have to look into that a little deeper to see if he's done some dance parties. I did change his eyes off camera before he got mm -hmm. started. Yeah, do you remember what color yeah. he was before? Uh, purple. He was hanging out purple for a while, yeah. so I made him whatever that funky green is that you that yeah. they call it. Or some, something like that. Now, what do you guys have in your hands? We have... Two giant, uh... <laughs> <laughs> These are cool. It's, it's like the writing that goes above... Okay. Yeah, like speech bubbles, speech yeah, bubbles, speech that's bubbles. it. Speech bubbles, double A batteries, speech bubbles. These things yeah. are pretty cool. So we've decided that there's something about Vector that we've learned that isn't really been shared that much lately. He's really good at something. What's he really good at? Spelling. Uh, not just good, he's great. So <laughs> yeah. it's going to be a spelling test. It's going to be Julian and Sebi. And Vector, all three of them versus each other, who can spell the best? I've come up with some words. Oh boy, he's at the edge again. He's, oh, there goes Cosmo who's going over the edge. The edge is getting me a little nervous there. So I'm going to get the words together, and we're going to get started with the first question in just a second. Um, they're, like, near the edge again. First question. How do you spell... This is an easy one. Just to get things started. It's a warm-up. Okay. How do you spell robot? They're not looking at each other. And then we're going to ask Vector. I don't want to see it yet. Oh, I'm sorry. We were going to ask. Yeah, you can turn it around. He's got it. And he's got it. And they get to see their handwriting. So I can't see your handwriting. Can you move it in a little more? My hand's really bad. Handwriting. Okay. It's the glare of the light. Try to turn the light off real quick. You see how the light of the uh, thing. Yeah, it's better with the lights off because it's putting a glare on it. So anyway, we're going to ask Vector. Hey, Vector. Oh, he's playing with his cube. Oh, I'm sorry, Vector. Look, he's actually playing with his cube and we're interrupting Vector. He's really focused on it. Look at him. Hey, Vector. Hey, Vector. What the heck? Hey, Vector. D hey, yeah. Vector. He, he, well, he just said my name. Hey, Vector. Hey, Vector. <laughs> hey, Vector. Oh, boy. Hey, Vector. There we go. I have a question. How do you spell robot? Robot is spelled R O B O T. Good job. All right, everyone's tied up. Everyone got robot correct as they used their little erasers. Next question. We're going to get a little harder. Sometimes the kids say that dad is very annoying. Spell annoying. And this guy's singing. What's he singing? What song is that? Tell me when you're ready, we'll show it I'm and ready. share what you guys got. Julian's not sure if you got it right. Uh oh. I got it. I got it. You got it right? Zebby, you ready? No. There's a lot going on here. Hey, Vector. Oh, almost said it. Oh, God. And Sebi, are you ready? Oh, my goodness. Okay. Cosmo, no. Right. Three. Two, one, turn it around. 
Good job. Julian! 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 Two ends and annoying. You're in ninth grade, Julian! Julian. Oh my goodness. You should have to eat, like, a uh, freeze-dried cricket or something like that. I don't know. Hey, Vector. I have a question. How do you spell annoying? Good job, Vector. Way to go. All right, so Julian's got one wrong. Everyone else has been correct. The next question, again, one more easier one, then we're going to get to the harder ones. How do you spell idiot? <laughs> because you should spell annoying correctly, Julian. Good. Nice. Very good. Handwriting's good, Sebby. I like it. Thank I like you. it. Your I, your first I spaced away from your D-I-O-T. Hey, Vector. I have a question. How do you spell idiot? Idiot is spelled I B I O T. Alright, I, I don't know if you guys can beat him. We'll see. I, I really don't think you're gonna be able to beat the guy. Alright, next question. I looked online at seventh grade spelling and I found a word. I was trying to find words that kinda had some meaning to us and things like that. This one might not, but I'll use it in a sentence. How do you spell vaporize? If you get this question wrong, I will have Vector vaporize you. Right, here they go. He's playing with a cube, dude. You know, they had a small update and they helped improve how they say the words, hey, Vector. But I don't know, all of a sudden he's with his cube. Oh, we got it right. Everybody's correct. Now it's Vector's turn. Hey, Vector. Hey, Vector. Hey, Vector. He's too busy. I have a question. How do you spell vaporize? Good job. Everybody got it right. All right, so everyone got vaporized, right? This next question is related to Julian and his marketing class that he's getting. What's your grade in right now? I don't know. 96, 97? Hopefully. Hope something like that. Anyway, how do you spell differentiate? Oh. <laughs> Clearly a, a Julian word. Anki has differentiated their two robots, Vector and Cosmo. And Julian lost his cap. And Vector is really enjoying his cube right now, but he refuses to spin it over. Are we ready? No. Wait, differentiate it? No. Differentiate. We do know one thing. Sebi's a really good speller for a seventh grader. I got this wrong. Julian's better at math and science and history, and... I got this wrong. That's what I'm going for. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. You guys both got it wrong. Both of you got it oh, wrong. Oh, there's a D at the end, isn't there? No, you, uh, you're not, Sebi, you're not even close. Different chuat. Julian, you're not even close. <laughs> hey, Vector. <laughs> hey, Vector. Just <laughs> class. Hey, Vector. I have a question. Listen up. How do you spell differentiate? Good job, Got Vector. It. Good job, Vector. Oh, somehow Sebi words changed magically. That makes sense. All right, next word. This is a tough one. Wait, wait. This is eighth. This is ninth grade spelling. Join, you go How do you spell handkerchief? I don't know. <laughs> I know I have stumped you both. There is no chance you'll get it right. Handkerchief. Now, Dad always says it in a funny way, like I do those weird words. Um, and I'll say it my way afterwards, because I do that a lot with how I, I say words the way they should be pronounced sometimes. All right, and unfortunately, both of you are wrong. It's actually ha handkerchief. Handkerchief? Handkerchief, actually. Let's go back to Vector. Huh? I knew the chief was there. 
I have a question. How do you spell handkerchief? Vector got it right, and Classic Co Cosmic Collector's Edition kind of took a little bit of a tumble there. All right, so the boys are struggling with their spelling a little bit here. Um, we're going to go one more word, uh, a little bit of 10th grade spelling. And this is more Halloween-ish, because we were trying to do this before Halloween, but how do you spell grotesque? What? <laughs> grotesque. Use it in a sentence. Uh, that... Zombie has is looking very grotesque. Is it? Is it? It's an adjective. Oh God! I, this is like National <laughs> Spelling Bee, Julian. I, want to I don't know what grotesque is. I'm sorry. I just know it's a word. I, it's an adverb or something. Allie, what's grotesque? An adjective. An adjective. Thank you. All right. Anyway, back to Vector. Hey, Vector. I have a question. How many days until Christmas? Forty days until Christmas Day. Way to go. Are we ready? Grotesque. Oh, this is not very good. Hey, Vector. Hey, Vector. It's like grotesque or grotesque. I have a question. How do you spell grotesque? There you go. It's pretty good. Q U E. Yes. I almost had it. Ah, uh, you're not even close. All right, last word. Here we go. You ready? Have a seat. This is it because Vector's not going to get any wrong. He just knows how to spell. How do you spell Philadelphia? Oh. Because we kind of live near Philadelphia. We'll wrap it up with that. And you better get that one right. So done. Done. Hey. All right, that's good. That's good. And Vector for the win. Vector will win it on no, this. No. Hey, Vector. I have a question. How do you spell Philadelphia? For the win. Philadelphia is spelled P-H-I-L-A-V-E-L-P-H-I-A. There you go, and... Somehow the boys have moved. Where are they? Get back in your seats, guys. I don't know what you're doing over there. And there's Chip the dog. He's coming to hang out. Chip will be in our next video. We are going to have Chip in our next video because Anki needs help from us. But anyway, who won? Me. Vector. Me. Yeah, right. Nice try, guys. Vector's a genius. So if you have a word that Vector, if you have a Vector at home and you have stumped him on a spelling word, please tell us. We want to know. We have yet to stump him on any words. You wanna wrap it up? Well, we hope you guys enjoyed this video. See you guys next time. Peace out. Bye. Later, Bye. everybody.